Hello guys, it's Inspired by NoWeOptions.com and I would like to make a trading plan for the US dollar and Canadian dollar in front of this all important 1.20 level or pivotal 1.20 level as normally it should act um, again like mentioned um, a bit earlier like a pivotal level. Now if you take a trend line and you put on the 1.20 level in here like this let's make it a bit bigger and normally normally take a look how the market reacted on this 1.20 level from the moment that the first time it has been broken here it came it formed a triangular formation so what do we have we had a high and then a lower high and then a lower high and the move being broken high the, the triangle broke lower only for it to come again to break the 1.20 again to make a new high when compared with this one and then to retrace into this area here now looking at the US dollar Canadian dollar here we might have here a possible inverse head and shoulders of a lower degree if you want. This inverse head and shoulder goes with this being the left shoulder, this being the right shoulder, like this. And then the measure move to the downside can be or should be from here to here. Let's make it a bit bigger like this. Let's change the color. And then the measure move for it goes from here to here. and project it to the downside here and then we have what? we have 1.1881 so 1.1881 for the um, US dollar Canadian dollar measure move and normally this should be a nice place to go and buy call options now I wouldn't wait for the whole measure move to come to fruition, but something like into 1.19, uh, 1.80, would be the area to buy the call option. Because from my point of view, what the market is doing here on this 1.20 level is nothing but a corrective wave, and then it's going to fly higher as well. So I would say that the highs here that have been made in 1.2050 are going to be broken and they're going to be broken bad so the plan for the US dollar Canadian dollar into next week is to wait for this head and shoulders to um, head and shoulder pattern to break to the downside for the measure move to come to completion or at least to show us something like um, a move around 1.19 and in that area I would be interested in buying call options for the pair with the expiration date being, of course, end of week expiration date. Regardless, the moment of time or the mo the, the moment of time that the um, that the 1.19 is going to come. So let's write here on the screen that the plan is. So I'm looking to buy call options by the time 1.19 level comes having an end of week expiration date well that's the plan at least and then of course the market should move higher than the 1.20 level in an aggressive move that should go something like this and then to take the highs. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.